good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time is appropriate you whenever you get to watch this video so my name is margaret i'm a mom tuba resident in germany and i bring you videos around our sojourn here in germany and contents around lifestyle faith and family so today's video i just want to share with you some of my food hacks some of the the ways i try to stay eating african meals but substituting it with mainstream german products you know so if you live in germany or if you're new here you know that if you want to stay eating african you'll be spending a whole lot of money especially if you must eat the fufu and eat all of those soups and all of this nice stuff or the rice and all of that so these are my hacks and i just want to share with you in case you're new here you're settling in and you just want to know how to go about it so the first thing i want to talk to you guys is about the rice so um in nigeria i was so used to eating the pork boiled rice you know our typical foreign rice in nigeria actually is actually pork boiled rice um and when i moved to germany i noticed that a lot of african africans here eat basmati rice you know i don't know for them it's nice but because i'm so used to eating you know this rice so once i came in i had to be for the pop boiled rice and you can get this in a normal typical german shop and you can use this for your fried rice for any sort of delicacies you want to make with rice so i don't know why people who spend more money on that basmatic rice in the name of well aside from the money i don't enjoy that rice like i enjoy this maybe it's just me because I am not so good with trying out new things. I'm not very adventurous. So if I get used to a particular kind of thing, I just like to stick to it. So that's why I went for this rice. So if this is your spec, you can get this from a normal German shop. If you buy this in an Afro shop, that will cost you more money. So and when once we came here, we used to buy this rice from Kaufland. I mean, you can buy this for boiled rice in your usual German stores. So, but this particular rice is my top one. This is the best rice in Germany, the best power rice in Germany. I said so. So I buy this from Lidl. It says Golden Sun. I buy this from Lidl. And the number two rice is the, um, the powered rice you buy from Netto. Not the yellow and red Netto, but the black Netto. Most people call it the black Netto, not the Netto discounter. But the other one so if you go there it's usually in a green park that rice is nice as well it's a little bit more expensive it's just about one euro or there about one euro it's 10 cents or one euro i think it's been a while i bought that rice but this rice is 89 cents and it's the same price as you get in other stores this one cooks so nicely and it doesn't get soggy and it just cooks perfectly you know this is your best bet for rice i said so my opinion guys another hack is the black eyed peas so this um beans is what we eat in nigeria except if i want to buy the honey beans or the one we call the red beans the yoruba people call the red beans that i also like to eat but usually that would be when I have someone coming from Nigeria, then they can buy it for me. But, but if I need to buy black eyed peas here, in, I mean, if I need bean, to buy beans here, it's the, the option that's available is the black eyed peas. And this, since I found it in Coughland, I'd rather buy it than buy it in the Afro shop because it's simply cheaper. I mean, so. Kaufman is one of the stores that you find all over Germany. I know that there are some stores that are particular to certain regions, but Kaufman is the store that you can find everywhere around Germany. So if you go to Kaufman, I mean, based on the Kaufman that we have here, and I believe it's usually the same way elsewhere, in the Kaufman that we have here, there's like a segment for like Asian food. So if you go there, you would find this beans, black eyed peas, and they and it's really cheap there i think for a two kg 
bag it's 199 that's how much i bought it compared to how i buy in the afro shop if i buy a big 3 kg bag that will cost me over 5 euros so i think it's cheaper to buy from Kaufland and I buy from Kaufland. I do not have a pack here. I would have showed. I might insert a picture here, but I just showed you <laughs> my storage container, how I store it. So, yeah. I think one of the most important meals that Africans eat is the fufu, swallow, whatever you guys call it, amala, whatever. So, you know, what differentiates the different names I have called is the grain that is used to produce them or the ingredient or the condiments that you use in producing them so but since we came here i had tried a couple of times to go with the poundo yam you know when i came to germany i came on a lot of food and after that finished the reality dawned on me i had to go to afro shop to get stopped so and that costs you a lot of money really it's very expensive you know I think for a 250 gram you, of plantain fufu or yam or pound dough, you should be spending nothing less than four euro fifty. So imagine if you have a family like we are a family of five. How do we keep up? So you always find an alternative. So you guys know that in Germany or most parts of Europe, one of their staples is potato they have their own delicacies like germans eat one of their staples is potatoes and they eat it in different forms so one of their meals they prove they, they cook with this you know like potato flakes so this says kartoffel puree and i just buy this this is a big pack of six smaller packs so this is what a small pack looks like and there's another um, type of potato puree. This is another kartoffel puree because kartoffel means potato in German. So this is a pack of three. So a pack of three of those smaller bags I showed you. So a pack of three can make for my family food if I include a semolina. You understand to give it that consistency and make it a bit thick so that brings me to the next product i want to show you but this kartoffel puree costs around 89 cents so instead of eating that yum fufu or the plantain fufu this is a good supplement i think most africans here in germany eat this so if you're new here and you're wondering what do people eat for swallow voila this is it so you can make fufu, you can make the swallow with this kartoffel puree. I mean, just boil your water, put it in and cook it straight. But you would need starch just to give it that thickness. And if you make only the kartoffel puree and starch, it might not be as, you know, the texture might not be very thick. But if you like, like, very thick swallow, like most people like to eat in Nigeria, you want to do a blend of this and this this is um hard wheat in german hard rice gris in german this is called gris and gris is basically like our semo so they have two types of gris this is like the weich of when they say weich it means the soft type and this is like the hard type so if you want to cook that grease that's very you know the texture is so the consistency is so thick then you can go for this or you go for this so but this is what i would recommend a blend of this and this and this which is the starch will give you a perfect one so most times this is how i cook it you can have you know the way we make semo in nigeria right but this making semo with this doesn't give you the it's not really as um as nice as it is back home you know but with this one when you mix it with with the kartoffel puree with the potato flakes and you put a little bit of the starch this is basically potato starch and once you put in your well this is how i make it basically you put in your hot water on fire put in your puree straight inside and once you mix it to get the consistency that you need, you need 
without all of the lumps then you put in some of the grease i like to use this soft one you put it in and then you stare consistently consistently once you get the texture that you need you go in with just a little bit of um, potato starch put it in water i think you can use cornstarch if that's what you have but i'm just showing you these products are quite cheap in the shop this is 89 cents this is about 39 cents it's even less than 50 cents for one of these and this should be about a euro plus or so this is the one that's a bit expensive so you mix this in water and you put it evenly you know to then you go about stirring and stirring until you get it perfectly done so another thing i would want to say is if you are a pro in making swallow you can go directly like right now i am i can just put it straight into my pot and stir it to get you know the swallow the, the consistency that i want for my swallow so yeah but if you are not so good and you're afraid of having those lumps you just want to put it in water mix it get the right paste and put it in you know distribute it evenly inside your pot and you're ready to go so these are basically my hacks for now i guess i'm going to be updating you guys so, so these are the food hacks and right now i'm going to be showing you some of my hair product hacks that i use here and for today's video i have just these two products i have two girls you guys know and i wash their hair with the normal products from the stores that i go i buy normal shampoo and conditioner and use it in washing their hair and it works just fine so if you know anything about natural hair my daughters have not natural hair just like i i do have what we do you know when you want to work with your dad with their with their hair is always not very easy so one of the hacks that i use is to use this glyce core it's made by schwartz cox it's a product you can find from DM. I think you can find from Rossman as well. I'm not sure. And it says here liquid silk. Express repair spulung. Um, it's in German. So fortical camber kite on a tortoiseshell glands. So it says that it gives you that immediate um it allows you to come through the hair immediately and also natural shine on the hair. I love this. If you're working with African hair, this is your best bet. You can get it from the store, from your normal um, cosmetic or drugstore, DM or Rosman. Those are the main ones I know here in Germany, and I think you find them everywhere around Germany. So the second product is this one. It's from DM. You guys can see it's Valia. So disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. It's not sponsored at all. So this is Valia Professional Oil Repair Hair Oil. So if you guys wear wigs, you know, the natural um, human hair wigs that we do wear and you want to give, you know, like kind of revamp your hair, get it shining again and easy to comb through, just put this, put this oil on your hair and you're good to go. Thank me later. So basically, these are the products that I use. I'm going to be updating as time goes on. I just wanted to put this out there to help somebody. And if you found this video helpful, you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and tell me what you augment some of our African staples with. If you live in Germany and there's some of the hacks that you do, pray tell, share it with me in the comment section, and I'll be there reading your comments and answering you guys. Thank you so much for the support so far. Thank you guys. I appreciate you all. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. It works if you work it. Hang in there, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.